Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Lovers YouTube channel. Today's video is the video requested by one of the viewer and it is on Ajax. So if you are new, if you are already aware of what is Ajax, you can skip this video. But if you are someone who is very new in uh, for Ajax and doesn't know what it is, how it works, where it can fit in, then this video is for you. Guys, I'm Neha. I'm the host of Chaos Lovers community. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Do share your feedbacks your suggestions that help us a lot okay so let's start with ajax the first thing is the myth ajax is not a programming language guys ajax is not at all a, a programming language this is just a concept that how a browser and server should communicate with respect of the data it helps you to build interactive website and apps nowadays everything is ajax based if you are very new in this programming world, I'm pretty sure you haven't seen that time when we used to click on any, you know, button or any link and the whole page used to get refresh. Ajax changed that time. And for anyone who is very new here, for them, this is a very basic thing. But people who are coming from that background, for them, this is like a magic. So Ajax become a very revolutionary thing just because it let you to don't let you to refresh hold the page yet get the data updated from the server if a user is clicking on some uh, if, uh, button or some event he is doing on the page ajax let you to just upload that particular portion of the page by getting the data from the server and won't let you to refresh all the page so these are the little things but these are very powerful thing because of this only we are able to see the rich and interactive website and apps nowadays so ajax is very powerful uh, the full form of ajax is asynchronous javascript and xml if you doesn't know asynchronous what is asynchronous i already made a video i will drop the link below and you can check but just to help you here so that you can follow along with the video, asynchronous doesn't let your JavaScript uh, code processor to stop at that asynchronous code. It just moves forward and once the asynchronous code processing is done, it will come back and see what the data or the response we have. So th that is asynchronous. Ajax is always asynchronous. It can't be synchronous guys if you make ajax request with synchronous that doesn't make any sense so ajax is always always asynchronous cool uh, the another reason why ajax becomes so popular is because of jquery i will touch that i will explain you that also just be with me for a few minutes okay so this is a small diagram i was able to pull for you to understand so we have browser which is our client side and then we have server whenever some event is happening it will go to the server the server will process that request that ajax request and based on that it will re response back to the browser with data or the response and then browser will catch will check that data or response if it's a success it will write there would be a check javascript code and it will do some magic on that response if it's an error then we will do a error catching thing this is this is the most simplest diagram I can come with. Uh, there are two more things. The first is ready state, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to show you in the code that what it means. And there is status also. The state ready state comes with the moment browser do a event for the Ajax request. So from there, once the server return the data to the browser and the browser process it it reached to 4 so at every step there is a number or ready state code associated with that status is when the server is returning you the data or the response the browser check the status of that data or the response guys browser can't check the data like it's a data or not it has to be dependent upon the status that what is the status uh, so 200 is okay 403 is forbidden and 404 is not for so this is the most basic and the everything about Ajax here. Now, uh, if you are dealing with the vanilla JavaScript, there is XML HTTP request uh, object built in browser itself. 
it is supported mostly on the all modern browser but the old browser like i5 i6 are not supporting it uh, there are fallbacks or polyfills you can use with that and uh, i will show you the code i do have a code for the same so here what i am doing is i am writing a xml http request till here this is my xml http request code so what i am doing i am making a new object of this xhttp i am asking i am requesting a get request this is my url or the data i want to hit and here i am checking the ready state i told you that i am going to tell you about and the status ready state is that everything is okay we got the we got the request uh, data and it is ready and the status is 200 if this is success then based on that i am doing a javascript code and if it's an error then throw me an error okay so now first talk about this every ajax request do have few parameters associated with it two are very important the first is method and the sorry first is url and second is method the url is this so what what is the url when we are saying data data browser is hitting the server and asking for that data so what is that data what it is requesting from server so this is as of now this is my local json but it could be a api uh, for example if you are making a twitter application you want to get all the tweets related to your account then here a twitter api url will come and what i am doing is i am doing get because i am trying to get the data out of this api and i am requesting the server key my friend server please go to this api and get me the data out of it the server will return you the data and then you will check the response if it is equals to 4 and the status is 200 which is okay then please do get those that data those tweets and start publishing on my page if this case fail then please let me know what is the error as of now i have made a local json you can make your own local data so this is a handy tip for the developers who are working on their project most of the time we depend upon the backend developer to give us the json or the data that how we are going to how the json will look how we are going to process it so what you what you should do is uh, that you should make your own local data json your json get it validate with the backend developer and start working on that and save the time until the backend developer is ready with the production ready api or the json i'm very comfortable with playing with json uh, if you are the one who love to play with xml you can use xml also but the good practice is json only so if i will show you my page what i actually built so these are my pics which is coming from my json so <coughs> so this is how you are playing around with the json okay so as you can see this code is lot yes memorizing this xml http request is tough yes i do agree but the another reason as i told you of the success case of our ajax is the jquery so what actually jquery did is i will show you let me comment this javascript code let me uncomment this do we have an error yes we do have an error should be fine now let me refresh this page yes i'm getting data okay uh, so jquery came with the concept of writing less and doing more and that's very true in case of ajax if you will compare this code of xml http request with this line of code you can see the difference and this is very easy to remember also so this is the syntax of jquery if you are doing a jquery ajax request in that you need to pass the url you need to mention the method now we are skipping that doing the ready state and status check we have already inbuilt success function and once you get the data on basis of that you can write your custom data here uh, custom code here there's inbuilt error function also which will throw you the uh, error which it is getting so this is the minimum amount of code you required if you are doing ajax request through jquery apart from this these properties there are other properties also 
you can go to the jquery ajax page and just check and whenever it is required you can use that so this is the reason why ajax become very popular because jquery actually made it very simple for the developers to use it and write it so if you will see that my data is coming here it is coming from the json i can ask if i will deploy this code on some server and change <coughs> this to some API again the whole data will be coming from the server okay so this is about vanilla JavaScript and jQuery now we have another thing which just came in which is fetch API although the browser support is not so good but I just showing you the code so that in future if you want to use it you can use it so fetch API is an inbuilt uh, API uh, method which let you to do the Ajax request without using jQuery or without using vanilla JavaScript all you need to do is just pass the JSON and if you have seen the promise video where I actually talk about this syntax dot then dot catch it is very similar to that it actually work on the same concept of promise so the fetch will go and get the data from the API if it's a success that it will evaluate the response convert it to the JSON here and if it on um, once you got the data you can start playing around with it if there is an error you just need it will throw you an error uh, again guys the fetch api support is not good right now but yes there are polyfills available so you can go and check them uh, there is another thing you can also pass method here that it should be get a post what cool so this is about all the three ways through which you can get your data now where you can use ajax Nowadays, we are living in the time of single page application. Single page application is heavily based on Ajax request. So everything is on Ajax. Everything is API based. So you can use it everywhere. It depends upon how you are designing your application. Now the example is if I'm making a small portion of my website where I wanted to show all tweets, then I will first use the get. Uh, uh, sorry, the first step would be getting the API of the Twitter which is available on their site get that API hit the get uh, I will use the method get and get my all tweets now I will I want to filter out those tweet, uh, tweets on basis of hashtag which are available on my front end so there will be like hashtag Monday hashtag motivation co quotes hashtag inspiration quotes so when the user is clicking on motivational quotes now I will be using another Ajax request where I will be doing a post. I will be picking that hashtag which the user selected and based on that I will be doing another Ajax request and getting the tweets filter on the basis of that hashtag. So this is a very small example where you can use Ajax. Uh, I believe nowadays around us everything is based on the same. You will hear a lot about Ajax request APIs, REST APIs, JSON, these all are interrelated. So guys, this is all about Ajax. If you have any feedback, any question, any suggestions, do let me know. I would be very happy to reply you. Uh, if you need this code, I can publish it on my GitHub or CodePen. Just let me know because this is the code which is actually as related to one of my own personal projects. So I have to just get it out of the whole project and post there. So you just need to help me. If you need it, then I will do it. Okay, cool. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.